all right let's get it we're going to go from this to this okay it's easy to do this if the client or the subject is facing directly at the camera but if they're not it's a little bit challenging but we're going to make our best attempt to remove the double chin the first thing that you need to do is open your photo in photoshop and then you're going to select the pen tool and then you're going to zoom in and then try your best to get the curve or the the chin as close to natural as you possibly can okay you're going to click and then before you release the left click you're going to hold the shift to be able to get this curve make sure you try your best to get it as close as possible to this right here the chin and then we're going to click up here and then the rest just click down somewhere here here and there once you have your click selection right all you're going to need to do is right click on it and then select make selection and then i would leave it uh, the feather radius to two or three around that area uh, click ok and then once you have this selected on your keyboard you're going to hold control and then press j twice so we can make a copy of the selection and then go to the copy layer one i mean layer one copy and then what we're going to do is hold alt on our keyboard and then right once once you see that sign you're going to click on it which will link the top layer to the bottom layer and then while we have the top layer selected we're going to press on our keyboard control t to be able to get this uh, transform tool uh, yes and then we're going to right click on the selection on your photo and then you're going to go to wrap and then on this first top uh, second I mean actually we want to this right here we're going to click hold and then slowly drag up until it looks natural don't go crazy with it because you want to make this remove the double chin but at the same time make the photo look as uh, close to grill as possible so we're going to just position the shadow right under the chin okay make it close to that and then you're going to uh, what i would do is zoom out enough in your photo i would zoom out all the way and then see how it looks and then i would also undo uh hide the top layer and then bring it back to see how it looks okay that's how you do it i hope you found this video helpful if you did please consider subscribing to the channel because i do all types of tech related uh videos reviews uh i do reviews i do tutorials like this on things that i sh uh, use often so yeah i hope you found this video helpful if you did please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if this helped you or not